Right, so coming to this, uh, Hamza Ali Abbasi, I am actually very impressed with Hamza Ali Abbasi after I watched his dialogue, uh, dialogical debate stroke discussion with uh, Haris Sultan. To be honest, I had no expectation that uh, he was that intelligent, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Um, I and I expected him to be intelligent, like like general actors, you know, like the way Shah Rukh Khan is. I expect him to be kind of like Shah Rukh Khan intelligent, you know, like a bit witty, um, got a few dialogues, you know, read a few philosophies here and there, and just you know a bit of wisdoms on life and that kind of intelligent. This guy is mind blowing. This intelligent. I mean, he is genius level intelligent. I was wowed. I mean, he was talking about quantum physics, quantum mechanics, Einstein's relativity. He was speaking about uh, genetics, DNA. He was speaking about cos you know the the kind of theodicies, the cosmological arguments, the th you know teleological arguments, the pros, the cons, the multiverse theory. This guy, I was wowed. Like. Is that an actor? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I just did not anticipate that level of academic profundity from an actor. I just did not anticipate that. And I was kind of wowed, like, whoa, this guy is next level genius. And, um, and I think he kind of came out, you know, on if I can say, you know, on top in that discussion, really, uh, with Haris Sultan, uh, who's an ex-Muslim. So he's now, uh, Hamza Ali Abbasi has now announced that, look, I'm going to give up showbiz. I've, I'm divorcing the showbiz industry, not on any, with any bad blood, but I want to devote more time to religion and religious discourse. Um, so... What are my thoughts on this? I think, first of all, I think that's awesome because I think we need, in that part of the world, especially in Urdu, we need people with more courage to be able to voice things because the divergence, the gap is getting, you know, it's just growing day by day between the middle classes and religion. And just pe people are becoming so disaffected by religion and because it's only represented by the mullahs, you know, the, the, the mad mullahs. So, so people are starting to have a disdain and a hatred for it. So I really welcome this thought and these discussions. I, I hope, you know, they're going to be awesome, eye-opening. I would love, inshallah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you'd ever accept. <laughs> I'm not a big fish <laughs> on, the, on his kind of level. But I would love to have him on one of my podcasts as they, up, you know, as they start running. Inshallah, I think it would be epic. But nevertheless, I think uh, even if that doesn't happen, I, I, I really do think it's an amazing thing that he'll be doing. The only concern I have, and I, I, I'm pretty hopeful he won't go down that road, is I hope he doesn't become like a full-on mullah. <laughs> because I think the problem with that is you, you, you're no longer the bridge. You've just become one of the sides. So it's a bit like uh, um, a bit like uh, Junaid Jamshid, who was an icon, and, and you know, like a, I mean, people loved him. He was a, obviously a musician. He was a singer. He was very famous. You know, women idolized him. Men kind of deeply admired him. I mean, he was, I think, slightly. I mean, he was. In my time, but as in him being an icon, I was probably a kid <laughs> or just just kind of growing up. But so I didn't. I heard of him much later on. But the point was that he, when he became religious, there was a great sense of hope that he could have bridged a gap. But really, what happened is he just ended up becoming too, if I can use that word, too religious, as in nutcase religious, and he just became a weird kind of like i mean he wasn't an extremist but he came, became kind of uh, like a mad mullah himself in a way you know like this is haram that's haram women can't do this women can't drive women can't do this they can't and you think well you know you could have done so much more for people if you just kept it kind of cool 
obviously his choice his life i mean he has passed away and died in, in a tragic accident may allah you know grant him a blissful afterlife i mean uh but the point is that i, I i'm hopeful and i hope that hamza ali abasi doesn't go down that route because that would just be a waste but that was my thoughts on